Alright guys, today I've got a video here. This is going to be on, um, it's actually on my Moto X Developer Edition, but what we're going to be talking about here today is how to install Exposed Framework on your device and get it set up so you can start using the modules. And this is going to be kind of an opener here for a series of these. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff on Exposed Framework. Uh, I see a lot of people interested in it, and my buddy Marshall asked me to do some videos on it, so why not? Um, that being said, basically, to install Exposed, um, you're basically you're going to download the application. Um, I actually have mine on the, my drive. I'll put it a video, um, a link to it in the video description. But I'm actually going to just go into Google Drive and download it. You can actually download it from Google Drive as well. It's pretty simple. So right there is the application. And go to Settings. It says it's been blocked. And you just want to go to Unknown Sources. Check it. Go back. And now that you have unknown sources checked, you should be able to install the file. So right here it says it exposed installer. So go ahead and hit install. Accept it. And it should be installed. And we're going to say done. So now that you have exposed and installed, you should be able to find it here. See if I can get to it. Right there, it exposed installer. You can see the icon. But before you do anything else, let me talk about some prerequisites. Um, you've got an exposed installed, you can start doing stuff, but you're going to need to have root access. So you can see I have root right here with SuperSU. So whatever device you're on, doesn't really matter. The requirement for using exposed installer is root access. That's going to be a huge requirement. Must have it to get this to function correctly. Now, I would recommend also a requirement being that you need to know one of two things or both preferably. One, you need to have a recovery on your device. Whether you have safe strap recovery, whether you have custom torp recovery or clockwork mod recovery, whatever it is, have a backup or a recovery system set up. So I have one set up on this device, so I'm actually going to do what I would call my first requirement, is reboot to recovery with this application and do my very first Nandroid backup before we start using Exposed. And the reason being is that sometimes some exposed modules can kind of quasi brick your device and because they're all there's a lot of different options in them and if that happens you want to be able to restore it so what we're going to do this is my recovery is go ahead and create my first backup and i'm actually going to set the name that is a very long name so i'm actually going to bring it back to the date if i can get there and then we're just going to call this um, 4. Point, if I can do it without typing here, point 4.4.2 point dash, and we're going to call this exposed free, and then stock. So you understand that this is a stock backup without exposed installed on it. So then you hit go and exposed free stock perfect and then we're going to go ahead and swipe across to generate our first android backup um, on the device so now this would be the same whether you have safe strap like i was saying whether you have another kind of recovery system before you actually you can install the app but before you actually do anything in exposed you need to make sure you have a backup this is your fallback feature um, and fixes this thing in case one of your modules messes your device up so that being said, the other thing I would recommend having is know how to do a firmware restore on your device. So if you have a Samsung device, you'll probably be using Odin. If you have um, Motorola, you would probably be doing some kind of fast boot commands. Or like this device, you should probably could watch my video uh, that Matt Groff made, uh, a tool on how to restore the firmware on the Moto X. Um, if you're doing an LG device, you kind of have you know the LG tool. I can't remember what it's called so that you know how to restore. So that's just that's just another thing. Obviously a, an Android backup would, would prevent any problems you're probably gonna have, but last resort is gonna be to have the firmware and know how to restore the firmware to your device to get you fixed in case some major problem goes wrong. Inexposed and you can't even get the recovery for some reason or something crazy like that. So you can see this backup is running quite quickly. Um, let's just let it wrap up here. Okay, there you go. The backup is completed and you can go ahead and just reboot system and you'll boot back up. Um, 
Now we got a full Nandroid backup without exposed framework actually installed. The app's installed, but the actual hacks are not installed. Um, and you can always go in and you know restore your backup. If you want to get rid of exposed completely, go ahead and uninstall exposed and boom, you're back, you know, running, running well. Um, so we're gonna let this thing boot up and then we'll show you how to set up exposed and get it running. Okay, we're fully booted. So we're gonna go back into our app drawer, go get exposed right here exposed installer and the first thing you actually got to do is you got to come in here to framework and you can see what build and um, ignore this I just don't have a sim in it it won't happen to you um, it shows you uh, some bundles right here a couple numbers and then some stuff in red saying basically you you're not installed so all you got to do is go right here and say install updates grant super user permission or super sue and it's doing some things and it says everything's changes are done but you need to reboot to activate you can reboot right here I'm not going to yet first I'm going to show you some modules so we're going to go back and we're going to go to modules it says there's no modules installed so you can actually go to downloads and here is where you can get your modules um, so let's see if I can find a quick little module here for you guys to install and show you how this works Okay, so we're going to actually install this right here, Gravity Box for KitKat. And uh, we're going to check out this exposed module. So you just kind of scroll down here until it gives you a download option. Looks like uh, this is going to be the newest one. And then hit download. And that's going to download Gravity Box exposed module. It installs just like a ROM. So go ahead and install it. And this is supposed to be one of the coolest, I guess, applications um, for exposed uh, from what I've been told and we're gonna check it out this is my first time checking it out so we're gonna say done so once gravity box is installed you just gotta go in here to modules make sure it is activated right there you can see it's activated and then you can actually launch it from here or you can actually go in your app drawer. actually I've even created a shortcut for it right here and there's the application for gravity box and you can start going in here and doing your tweaks um, so let me go ahead and show you probably the my favorite stuff in here to do so we'll go to power tweaks and you want to turn on this right here advanced reboot menu um, reboot confirmation maybe power uh, sh uh, screenshot from power menu screen record in power menu if you want that feature I'm gonna turn it on as well and then you can actually back out of here and I'll show you those features so if you hold your power button now you got screenshot, screen record, and this is advanced reboot menu, and now you can do a soft reboot, a normal reboot, recovery, or bootloader. Love that feature, that's nice to have in there, so I don't have to use like a reboot application to do it, it's just now built into the device by using this module. The other things that I really like to mess with in here are status bar tweaks, and status bar colors. So you can just turn this on, boom, I got green status bar, which is very cool. You can come in here and change it to, you know, whatever, purple, if you like that color, whatever you want to do, and you can see it's changing it all up there on top. The other thing that's pretty neat is um, clock settings, and you can go, you know, on the edge over here, or you can go center. Let me change that color back so you guys can see that. Status bar colors, and we'll just change it to a, a, a white again just so you guys can see it and we'll back out and you can see this is actually all doing this in live time which is pretty cool so clock and there's edge clock or center clock and a bunch of other clock settings in there you can also go into batteries and I've actually already got it set to the percentage circle battery um, you can go with just standard KitKat battery you can put percentages next to it however you want to do it you can see it's all doing it live it's not even requiring a reboot which is just really really nice that it doesn't actually require a reboot um, and then, I mean, this thing just goes on and on. There's just tons of customization in here. Lock screen, screen tweaks, uh, navigation bar tweaks. So you can turn this on. This will change after a reboot, but it enables a whole ton of navigation stuff. All kinds of customization here. There's just, even, just too much even in here to go through. Here's Pi Control, and you can turn on that. But we'll, we'll, we'll check that out, but it's in here. Um, you got display tweaks, so some brightness things, screen, a bunch of different things in there you can mess with. Phone tweaks, and call vibrations, full screen call photo, I mean just 
tons of fun uh, little stuff to, to screw around with in here. Miscellaneous tweaks you got in here. And disable full screen keyboard. Torch auto off settings. I mean, this thing's just loaded. It's um, nav key actions right here. Okay, so then you can apply those to here. So long press action for the back. Where's back at? Long press for back and you should be able to apply all kinds of different things for this to do when you do that so you can like do for example toggle torch that's that's kind of cool long press back is a toggle torch see if it does it or not <laughs> it does and then hold it again it turns it back up <laughs> pretty neat um, like I said this thing is uh, absolutely loaded with uh, tweaks and customization. Gravity Box obviously works really, really well on the Moto X. Um, check it out for your device. Very, very cool. All right, after more observation with this Gravity Box, I got to show you guys this. This was just insanely cool. Thought it was awesome. So um, right here, check out all my toggles and customization. Like you can even add applications into them, like Launch and Calculator or Gallery right there. Um, this is just wicked cool the customization you have on here. You can open Gravity Box right here very simply. And I'll show you how you do it. You go into Status Bar Tweaks, and then you go to right here, Quick Settings Manager. And then all this stuff in here is where you check that out. So, for example, you can pick what tiles will actually get displayed. And there's a huge list of them. You can look at your tile order, what order you want them in on that screen or you can look at tiles per row right now I have four you can even do five if you wanted um, you can add some quick app tiles right here and dictate what those are going to be um, and a whole bunch of other op obvious options right there um, very very cool and right there is where you turn it on and off so we'll go back out and just show you there you go now I got a row of five don't like that as much I think the other one's really a little bit cooler so actually, let's go right back into Gravity Box and uh, change our rows really quick. So Manager per row is four, and there you go, We're back to four. And then I just got to show you guys this because I think it's absolutely insanity. Look what happens when you click on camera. I'll try to see, make it so you can see this. You actually have your actual camera right there, and then you can actually tap it, and it'll take a picture and then open it in gallery. Yeah, check that out. Is that not the craziest thing ever? That's amazing, I love it. That is really, really cool. So definitely this gravity box, I'm sure it has way more than I'm even showing you guys, but this is awesome. Absolutely love the cool customization um, on all of your little settings right here on this screen. Really, really cool. I'm definitely digging it. I'm going to be playing with this thing for a while. There's just so much in here. I can't even go over it all. So there you go, guys. That's going to be my video on installing Exposed. i um, using Gravity Box on some tweaks. Tons of fun stuff in there. Definitely check it out. Love the reboot menu and the status bar tweaks for sure. Battery percentage is huge for me. And uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys like this video. As always, Root Junkie out.